Yeah, before we wrap this hunt up, I can get down. I was gonna show y'all my setup. The way I got everything set up on the tree. I always keep my there are mosquitoes. Mosquitoes starting to get us. I always keep my crossbow on the this side, on the right side. And I always keep my backpack. A lot of times I keep it most time right here on the left with my quiver. Sometimes if the tree's big enough, I'll put it right here in front of me. And I got my camera. I keep it right here under my tether. That way, see that way when I'm shooting, it's above me, not down here in my way. You know, it's just the way I do it in my saddle. And then, uh, My steed's climbing up. That's that's pretty much my the way I set my tree. You know, which I got my lineman's belt or lineman's rope attached to the tree right now because I'm I'll be getting down here in a minute, and then I'll. Show y'all a little more in depth on the ground. On the way I set my sticks up and everything. I'll see y'all on the ground here in a few minutes. I get to the bottom of the tree, I just let everything down. I'll figure eight my pull up rope and get it ready to go in the boot bag. get to it and you leave about that much out wrap it you know stick that little carabiner through there and it's ready to go in the bag and I got my bag laying here on the ground here in this side camera bags hooked to the side 
my green rope that I use for my tree, my strap. I hold everything on the tree. Goes right here in this zipper. Cause it's got my hooks in it. My crossbow sits right there out of the way. Show y'all my climbing. This is my top stick. I got me a, a three inch piece of aluminum angle. I cut it 12 inch. I think it's 12 inches. Might be just a little bit longer than 12, 12 and a half or so. Two holes. Drilled it. Top of my stick. And that's my running gun platform. Then I got my bottom stay up here. It's six, a little over six feet to that top step. Got me a holer. Get out of that hole. Got a two-step aider I put on it. Made out of tubular webbing. Gets me up there, that top step, just a little over six feet to that top step. Second step, it's got a single later tied to it. I got a piece of paracord tied here on the top. I got a little hook on my saddle. I hook that paracord too. And I got the paracord on the top step. I got two little hooks on each side of my saddle that, I, that I'll hook these in too. And uh, climb up. I'm going to see if now I'll put my sticks on my bag upside down. And these sticks are meant to stack. They're meant to stack like that. But I don't stack them. I actually lock them together. This little rope
yeah I actually put them side by side and then tie them to my backpack instead of stacking them because it's easier with that platform like that then I always put the platform down to the bottom then I got my camera bag hanging off the side and that's the way I that's the way I carry all my stuff in and out but I'm gonna ease on back down this creek look around see if I see any rubs or anything usually we see quite a few rubs down this creek but, you know it's still a little bit early but them uh, they'll be kicking in them rubs and stuff here soon there's a couple of scrapes down through here that I know of I want to check and see if they've been in them again or if they're still using them for like a year round scrape or if it's just a a rut scrape I'm gonna check them as I go back tell you what I'm already out of breath just getting down and trying to get this stuff packed up and hopefully I got decent footage of how I pack my stuff up for y'all how I how I hunt we'll get back to the car off show y'all how we load the car and show you my saddle it's a DIY saddle I made mine and Andrews wife has a sew machine I learned how to sew it's a whole lot cheaper to make a saddle than buy one well I say that the time we bought her all our ropes and stuff for her safety and tethers and all these little this and that and our our buckles because we got the the good climbing buckles graded buckle for real high strength I forgot the name of them but them things wouldn't you know it's like 30 or 40 dollars for them these buckles so you know we still got well over a hundred dollars in their saddles after I made them so you know buying one two hundred bucks you know we saved a hundred bucks but hey I, I made it to me and I made Andrews to fit him I think I done pretty good making us our own saddles but running gun like this saddle pretty much the way to go I was carrying them heavy tree stands them climbers Whew. that was rough but hey I'm gonna ease on down this creek head on back to the car I'll see y'all there it's you sir <coughs> Yeah, it'll shoot it. Andrew gonna shoot his new crossbow to uncock it. Just shoot it there into the bank, not into the tree though. Yeah. A little loud. Ain't loud. You know what? Andrew, he got him a Excalibur Grizz too. That's his new crossbow. He likes it pretty good. It's lightweight. He said just a little bit wide though for saddle hunting in the tree. But he'll figure it out though. He said lightweight, easy to carry. Mine is the Micro Mag 340. I like it too. It's only five pounds. Easy carry, short. But yeah, I like that thing. 
I can move around in the tree pretty good. Just had to kind of watch the limbs. Shooting out of the saddle. Or you'll whop the tree real hard. But yeah. Pretty good. I like it. Show y'all this saddle right quick. You hear why I can lay it down. But yeah, here's my saddle. It's homemade. I keep my lineman's rope right here on the side. We use the, just these one big loop, same loop that we got our bridge tied to. We don't have no extra loop for lineman's belt or anything. We just, just rather do that. Just as simple. But this is made out of a heavy duty duck fabric. It's real nice. Then they got Andrews is camouflage. Mine's gray. It's made out of a car seat belt material. Or the webbing is. And then we got our heavy duty buckles. Or a belt buckle. They're heavy duty. They won't break. I forgot what brand they are. They're a climbing grade. And then we just got for our leg straps. They're just these cheap backpack straps, plastic. You know, just for our legs, because most time we unhook them anyway after we get in the tree. So they're not really doing anything. I said I keep my Lyman's rope daisy chain right here on this side all the time. It's tied to it. I just daisy chain it back up. And hook it back up when I'm in the tree. It don't bother me none. We don't use no cyst haulers or anything on them. I keep my Lyman's rope in my backpack with my camera arm and everything. And my It just makes it less stuff you carry. Everything's in my backpack. Ladders strapped to the backpack. Andrews, his setup's pretty much the same thing, except for he's got his uh, platform there, which he didn't use it. He just used his because he's the same thing. We got that three inch aluminum for a running gun. Yeah, and this is the way we put it in the car. Put our backpacks back here in the back. We got blankets that we lay our crossbows on up on the front seat where we lay them down. But yeah, that's the way we do it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to get my crossbow on top. And uh, hey, y'all, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. You know, shoot us comments, hit them like buttons. Hey, on Facebook, when I got them on there, give us them thumbs ups. You know, hey. We'll see y'all.